Hey, what's up, everybody? You know, over the past couple of days now, if not since this past Saturday, a lot of people have been questioning a decision that has been made. You see, this past Saturday, during the ultimate finale of the UFC, uh, Ultimate Fighter Heavyweights, at ringside, if you will, was Hulk Hogan and Dixie Carter. Now, JR, not the WWE's JR, but the UFC's JR, interviewed Hulk about his partnership with Dixie Carter and TNA. Hulk apparently took this opportunity to announce that TNA will be going head-to-head -head with Monday Night Raw on the first Monday in 2010. Now, what does that mean? Well, they're going to go live, apparently, from what is being said. They're going to go live. Now again, what does that mean? Mean for TNA? What does that? Well, what does that mean? Period. Does that mean they're going to go on at maybe six o'clock live, showing that they're going head to head, or are they going to go on at nine o'clock? You know, like like WWE. You know, what's the deal? We don't really know. But the question people have, though, is I've been asking, is it a good idea? Well, from what Dixie Carter said, this is the TNA's way of saying, we're fi saying, hey, we're firing the first shot. Basically saying, hey, we're going to make WWE notice us. We're going to make them stand up and notice us and take us seriously. But the question is, will WWE take them seriously? Will WWE retaliate for fear? I mean, rumors are going around that WWE is planning to bring in The Rock as the special guest host and probably expand the January 4th Monday Night Raw, the first Raw of 2010, to three hours. Because that's exactly what TNA is doing with their show. This way, this way, WWE will basically show TNA, hey, whatever you can do, we can do better. But the question is, is this the right move by TNA? A lot of fans enjoy, like this idea because it's the Monday Night Wars all over again. But it's a one-time deal. But, as they say, improving Brent, but as they say, hey, when you're testing waters that you've never swam in before, and you succeed, in, and you succeed by, by swimming, and you succeed in swimming those waters and mastering them, then it proves that you can swim those waters again and again with no problem. That's apparently what, WW, what TNA is doing. They feel as though if they believe that by testing these waters and passing them, proving that they can swim with the big boys, swim in the big lakes and oceans that are, that are, that are WWE, that they can do it week after week. Now the question is, is will it be a sink or swim? Some other fans are saying that it's a little too soon. I agree on both fronts. The first front I agree on is, yes, this is a good way to test the waters to see if WTNA will, go, will do good in a head-on-head -head battle with World Wrestling Entertainment. It's a good idea. But I do agree on the other front that it's a little too soon. I mean, if I was Hulk Hogan, if I was Dixie Carter, if I was TNA, I would say, okay, we got Hulk Hogan, but let's take our time. This is how I would do it. This is how I would do it if I was TNA. I would basically say, that I would, you know, honestly, this, you know, this is what I would do. I would wait till WrestleMania. That's what I would do. I would wait till the Monday Night Raw after or before WrestleMania to test the waters. That way we'll see if wrestling fans like either WWE or TNA after WWE's biggest event. That's what I would do. I would test the waters then. I wouldn't test them now, but 
I guess if you want to start the new year with a bang, and as Dixie Carter put it, fire the first shot and get your competition to notice you, this is the best way. To, then doing it on the first Monday in 2010 is probably the best way to go. But we're just going to have to see and we're just going to have to wait and see what happens. You know, TNA succeeds, hey, they'll go, they're going to probably go back to those areas. They'll probably go back to the area in time. I mean, let's take a look at WWE. Back in 99, in May of 99, they tested the waters on UPN, if you will, for SmackDown. They tested the waters, and they succeeded. They succeeded with testing the waters there, and they were able to play SmackDown on Thursday nights, now on Friday nights. They were able to do that. The same with ECW. When they did the ECW reunion back in 05, they tested the waters to see if fans still wanted it, and they did. To the point that the following year, they had another reunion, which led into the rebirth of ECW. Now, ECW, though, is probably on the verge of being rebranded or taken out completely. But anyway, again, I agree on both fronts. One, this is a great way to start the new year with a bang and kind of test out the waters to see if you're able to compete, if you're going to sink or swim. I agree on that. But I do also agree on the other front that maybe they should have waited. And like I say personally, I think they should have waited until at least maybe after or before WrestleMania. That would have worked better. Better. But then again, it's I'm not the one in charge of TNA, so but if I was, that's what I would do. But again, um You know, I just thought I'd give my thoughts on it. And I'll talk to you all later. Peace.